Not only was the scientific press copying at him, and in a way that was violent, not in terms of an orderly discussion that this idea is yet to be tested and it takes more time and etc., but saying this idea is crazy and any man who has such an idea is mad, insane, that kind of thing. But the establishment through which men who think that way make a living, the academic establishment, was saying to this man, you know, you're not safe. He knocked out a very strong prop for an obsolete form of science, which is what surprised me about the violence of the reaction. Since Actually, there's so many facts that support the Velikovsky's theories. Uh, it's hard to know where to begin. So why did these other scientists feel that this was not a proper attempt? Well, because uh, they felt that they would lend support to what they thought was the irrational theory. As a matter of fact, uh, there's nothing irrational. And if I transgressed and went into many fields of science and humanities, it was not because I was born a rebel. I was coerced to trespass the belief that we are living in an orderly universe, that nothing happened to this earth and the other planets since the beginning, that nothing will happen till the end, is a wishful thinking that fills the textbooks and your textbooks are still of Victorian vintage. He's a fighter for life. He's not going to be bowled over if they all say no. He's not going to give up life. And, and the survival of the ideas now are so much wrapped up with the survival of the man.